So far, we've only seen how Azure evaluates a single core's rule, and I hope that logic is clear now. But what does Azure do when there are multiple rules to evaluate? Here are three rules we've defined in this scenario. Let's walk through the first request example and see how Azure would evaluate the rules. This request is initiating a GET call from the origin contoso.com with no HTTP headers. First, Azure will evaluate the rules in order, so it will begin on the first rule. For rule evaluation, Azure will first check to see if the incoming origin is in the allowed origins list. It is, so that check will pass. Then, Azure will check if the request method is in the allowed methods list. This check passes too. Finally, it will check the allowed headers list, and since there are none specified using a wildcard, that check is satisfied. Now, Azure will stop evaluating the rules since the rules conditions have passed. This request will be allowed through. Let's now look at a different request. In our second request, we are issuing it with the local host origin and specifying an X app name header. Again, Azure will start at the top and evaluate the first rule. Now you can probably guess that the allowed origins check will fail to match. Azure will no longer evaluate the other properties in this rule now. Instead of failing the request though, like in our single rule demos, Azure will move on to evaluate the second rule. This time, Azure successfully matches the origin and the allowed method. Now it checks the allowed headers and finds a match, so this rule condition succeeds and the request is allowed. Now let's change this request slightly. This time the request is the same as the last, except we've changed the request header to include X app ID. Looking at the rules, it looks like this should satisfy our third and last rule. Is that the case? Everything looks like it's proceeding fine. The first rule is not matched and the second matches the allowed origin and allowed method. But now, how will Azure evaluate the allowed header? As you could have guessed, the X app ID header is not in the allowed headers of our second rule, so Azure cannot satisfy this rule's conditions. Now, what would you expect Azure to do? When Azure encountered a failed match on origin in the first rule, it moved to the second. If you expected Azure to move to the third rule now, you actually might be surprised to hear it'll fail this request now. Why? Because Azure will stop evaluating any subsequent rules once it finds a successful origin and method match. In other words, once the evaluation engine reaches a rule that satisfies the allowed origin and allowed methods conditions, no further rules are evaluated. At that point, Azure will check the allowed headers condition for that rule. If it fails to satisfy the allowed headers, it fails the request. It does not continue on like you might have expected. For this reason, it's recommended to list rules in most restrictive to least restrictive order. This ensures the least restrictive rules will be evaluated last, and it's an easier way to think about how rule evaluation order works.